Which number is more important? This is very controversial. My name is Dr. Storia. I've been in practice for over 25 years and I'm gonna answer this one question. In your blood pressure, there are two numbers. The top number, which is the bigger number, which is called your systolic, that represents when your heart is beating and the pressure that's built up in the arteries. The second number, which is the bottom number, which is usually a lower number, is the diastolic. And that is showing how much pressure is in your arteries when your body is at rest or when your heart is not beating. So when your heart beats, that's the first number. When your heart relaxes and blood is going into the uh, heart chambers, that's the second number. Which number is more important? I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Neither are more important. It would be like asking which lung is more important when you breathe, the right one or the left one. So here's my challenge to you. I challenge you to go on Google and find me a study recently within the last 30 years that shows the diastolic number is more important than the systolic number. Yet everyone seems to believe this. The American Heart Association, Harvard, you can go on PubMed, you can go on Medscape, go to the Mayo Clinic, go to the geniuses on WebMD, and nobody actually says that the diastolic is more important. Yet everyone in the general public seems to believe this. Why? Over 30 years ago, they used to think that the diastolic was more representative of your health because when your heart is not beating, how much pressure is in there? Well, the diastolic number represents a risk factor for things like an abdominal aneurysm. And when an abdominal aneurysm explodes, it doesn't matter how quickly you get to medical care or how quickly medical care gets to you, you're simply not gonna make it. So it's kind of a yes, no system when it comes to an abdominal aneurysm. You're simply just not gonna make it. However, the systolic number represents more of a cardiovascular risk. So it gives you a sense of how risky you are in developing a heart attack or a stroke. That can be caught earlier. And even if you do have a stroke, or a heart attack, you're more likely to survive it if you get to medical care soon. So the old style thinking, and we're talking over 30 years ago, the diastolic was considered more important. That's where people get the idea. Now, if you Google the American Heart Association's guidelines and criteria for hypertension, you will see that they want everyone, no matter what your age, to be below 120 over 80. They start calling elevated blood pressure when your systolic number, not your diastolic, but your systolic number is between 120 and 129. Yet your diastolic is actually below 80 at that point. They consider that elevated blood pressure. Now when your blood pressure goes between 130 and 139 and or your diastolic goes between 80 and 89, they call that stage one hypertension. Stage two hypertension is where the systolic is above 140 and or the diastolic is above 90 and it just goes on from there. And according to the American Heart Association, for people over 50, they're more concerned about the systolic. So what is your opinion? Do you still believe that the diastolic is more important? Were you told by a doctor, possibly over 30 years ago, that the diastolic was more important? So just let me know in the comments. I'm curious how many people feel this way. Now here is the important part, and I want you to listen carefully, that regardless of whether it's the systolic or the diastolic, you need to get your blood pressure to a somewhat normal level. And anxiety, depression, stress, all plays a role in blood pressure. And if it's chronically high, you're just putting yourself at risk. So I'm gonna put a video right here on how to do deep breathing exercises to just relax your mind and body. And you'll be surprised if you watch the video what actually happens to your blood pressure, but you gotta watch the video. So hit the, hit the square right here. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is if you have a specific question for yourself and you want to do a consultation with me, we do Zoom appointments. And Zoom appointments 
are done where I give you a special identification. We do a passcode, so it's very private. We do a consultation. Now there is a fee for that, so you have to contact us. Somewhere in the video or down in the description, you can find my website, or I'll put a link down below here somewhere, or up here, I'll put it up here, and you can contact me and find out what it costs and have a special Zoom appointment. We'll see if we can get your blood pressure to a normal level.